Have you ever been bored with your sex life or like looking for new ways to foreplay in your relationship, to bring some of that juiciness back? Well, if you've answered yes, then you are in the right place because in today's video, I am going to share with you 13 ideas, uh, foreplay ideas that you'll be dying to want to try right now, right this second. So keep watching. I am Celine Remy, the Intimacy Angel, and I am here to help you bring your sexy back in life. And if you are new to, to this channel, make sure that you click the subscribe button and share the love by giving this video some thumbs up. So when it comes to foreplay, let's start with a definition. For most people, when they think foreplay, it's about that time as soon as they close the door, they're about to have sex and that's the few minutes before to get her ready. That's not my definition of foreplay. Foreplay is the gap in between each time that you make love, which means that your entire life can then become this very juicy playground because every opportunity becomes a new chance to keep the arousal and the excitement going and have some foreplay, fun play before the next time you meet again in the bedroom. Now foreplay can mean different things to different people at different times. So it's always important to check in with your partner to have a discussion and also remember that foreplay does not have to lead to intercourse Foreplay in itself can just be fun play that you do because it helps you feel good. It can be the main event. All right, let's get into some of my ideas for you. My number one is kissing, make out session. Most people past a few years in their relationship, stop kissing because that's the things you used to do when you couldn't do anything else or when you were just so excited about each other. But you don't take the time to do that anymore. So give kissing a try. Make out like teenagers, like spend extra time playing with each other's mouth and figuring out what you each love and how you like to be kissed. And it's really fascinating because kissing is definitely a beautiful way to drop into your heart and to just to be more in touch with your body and get the energy going. I know for me, when my husband kisses me, like puts all of his energy into it and a good French kiss, it definitely gets things going. My tip number two is to start to build anticipation throughout the day by sending sexy texts or images or whatever you like to do. But basically it's through the day to just drop some hints to get the mind start to think about something sexy. And it could be a multiple like text that has just, yes, what I'm doing. Dot, 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 I'm thinking about you, dot, 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 touching myself, dot, 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 getting really turned on. Whatever you want to say, you know, there's definitely a lot of different styles when it comes to that, but building anticipation with sexy text message and, and talking about what could potentially happen later will help to get you in the mood. My tip number three is to get wet together, also known as shower together, and not just shower together, but soap each other. A good warm shower with soaping and touching all the right areas can be fantastic for play. For play number four is give each other a sensual massage. A lot of people just don't spend enough time touching each other anymore. So get your favorite oil and scented candles, music, and give each other a massage. It's important to have one giver, one receiver, so that you each can be fully immersed in your role. So take turns. It doesn't have to happen at the same time, the same day. It could just be like today you're the one receiving and the next time you'll be the one giving. 
whatever works, uh, but have fun. Imagine that your partner's body is like a blank canvas and you are this artist creating a masterpiece. For play tip number five, do some mutual masturbation. Ooh, I said it. Yes, show each other how you touch yourself. Be seen in the most vulnerable way possible. Like masturbating in front of somebody is definitely out there in terms of like exposing everything, exposing who you are. But that's going to be creating more intimacy and that can be really hot. For play tip number six, read some erotica together or watch some porn, whatever you like, but reading something together, reading it out loud or watching something and then discussing what you enjoyed about it or role playing what you just read about. All of these things can get very steamy and be fantastic for play. Number seven, oral sex. Yes, oral sex is a great foreplay, don't forget about it. And giving, receiving, give yourself permission to just enjoy a good foreplay of oral sex and it could just be the main event. Mm, so yummy. Foreplay tip number eight, use some dirty talking. Dirty talking is exciting. Not everybody likes it. Not everybody has the same flavor. So check in with your partner for more tips on for on dirty talking. I've got other videos on that. Um, but try it out, see what works, and make it a fun event to try. For play tip number nine is all about movements and sexy dancing. Whether you want to sexy dance for each other, whether you want to have a lap dance, whatever you want to do, but get into your body and just start moving sexily for each other. Tip number 10 is all about sensory play. So think senses, think heat, cold, sensations, different object and explore each other's bodies with other things on your own hands and create sensations. Think not just the touch but the sight, the ears, um, it could also be the smell. So you can incorporate all of the different senses to amp those up and start to play. We know for most people they rely just on one so it's nice when you focus on one of the different senses to explore that one as well. For play number 11, some good old cuddling. Mm, cuddle little spoons, big spoon, do all the different variation, just hold each other, Feel so good, so safe in this beautiful spot of love and then see where that can lead. Number 12 is to play with sensations. So it's for those who want to go a little bit more on the kinky side, experiment a bit with uh, some different toys and tools and see, well, how kinky you can get, how much that turns you on or not, but exploring and playing with sensations. You don't have to go all the way on the end of the spectrum. It could be some light spanking. It could just be to be tied to the bed or it could be much more kinky if that's your thing. And for play tip number 13 is to have some good old role playing and whatever your favorite fantasy is, why not create the scene and go for it and see how exciting that can be. So there you have it, my dear, 13 different ideas of foreplay. If you were ever stuck with new ideas, I am sure that today's helped you to just get your imagination going. Let, drop me a comment in, in, in these. Drop me a comment below to let me know which one is your favorite foreplay. I can't wait to hear this. And thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next video.